Good morning, everyone. This is Jeffrey with the Desert Ink Well. Um, before we get started, grab your coffee. Haha, -ha, Evil Queen. If you know, you know. Lao. Um, <laughs> today, we're going to be taking a look at. Uh, we're going to do a quick unboxing from Gold Spot Pens Mystery Dip. Swatching some inks from a couple friends who were so kind to send them over. And what else? I want to show you a particular ink. It, it's not that I want to show you the color, but the packaging and everything comes with it. It's so cool. I wanted to share it with you. Some pen storage. We're just going to get into a whole thing today. Um, my preferred way to interact with you is just conversationally just having a chat about what's going on in my pen life. So let's get to it. Welcome back, folks. I know, that was a long journey. Okay, before we get started on this unboxing from Gold Spot, do you see how this spot is all blacked out? If you're doing unboxings online or whatever, do you see this little thing? This is not sponsored, but this little Zap American Crafts thing. This is a little heat gun, and watch this. How cool is that? Um, it like blacks out that. Additionally, I'm going to cover it because what if it does show still? Anyway, those are also great to dry your ink swatch. <laughs> so if you're swatching a bunch of inks, you're not sitting there for... 17 hours while you wait for, I don't know, sheen machine to dry. Um, okay, let's get in. What are we doing first? Let's do this unboxing first. Okay. Children, be careful with sharp objects. Can't have any of you getting injured on my watch. Okay, am I the only one who can't open it? Like, what are these made of? Oh my god. This and light bulb. Light. The funny thing is, they package light bulbs, which are super thin and glass, in this tiny piece of paper. But then you buy something at the store, and it is like locked down in titanium. And you can't, you, you get to get a package opener. I'm sure it's for people who can't keep their hands off of other people's stuff. But, okay. Little ASMR for my ASMR fans. Bubble wrap. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I had to. I'm also ill-prepared. Let me just rip this piece of paper off here. All right, we're only human, right? This, ooh, almost dropped the clipboard. Okay, so every month, I think it's every month, Gold Spot Pens does a thing called the Mystery Dip, where you can save 30 to 50%, if not more, um, on a pen, and then some ink samples. You just don't, you don't get to pick it. Now, don't freak out and be like, I don't want to buy some random pen. If you don't like it, even this mystery dip is returnable. So, if we open this, and it's a brand I'm not a fan of, or if it's a style I don't want, then we can return this. Um, uh, I think it was $99. I used a coupon from Penboy Roy. What is the coupon? Titanium? Friend? I don't remember. Um, I'll, if I can find it, I'll, I'll put it in the description below. Assuming I remember by the end of this video. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, bam. Oh, look at this. Okay, okay. <laughs> look at that sticker. <laughs> okay, 
They gave me notes. Should I just like pause here and then I don't have to talk? I'll read it. I'll read it. Just in time for spring, our April 2024 mystery dip is the Esterbrook Junior Beleza, meaning beauty and made from diamond cast. Really now? Uh, this pen has a luxurious sparkle to it that lives up to its name. Your mystery dip includes a one-of-a-kind Beleza fountain pen in either a silver or gold trim. It looks like ours is silver. Okay. Two millimeter Esterbrook ink samples in the following colors. Cobalt blue. Aqua. Shimmering lilac. Evergreen. And scarlet. Okay. You know what's fun is um, a pen friend helped me locate an actual Esterbrook SD Evergreen fountain pen. Shout out, girl. Thank you so much. Um, I don't have the Aqua Esterbrook. I certainly have Scarlet. I don't have Cobalt, but I have the Nouveau Blue. But I like to say Blit. And I do have the Lilac. Um, those are all inked up. We're just going to swatch these with... What I think are the coolest things ever, the wearing all swatch cards. It has like a resist on it. I'm sure you already know this, but makes all of your ink swatches so uniform, really does wonders. Okay, finally, an exclusive sticker, hand-drawn by our team member, Sam. That is amazing. Um... You know what? I love a holographic sticker. Hold on, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. I probably won't remember to edit that out, so sorry for the sneeze. Perfect. I keep all, like, pen stickers on my messy swatch book. So even though I have graduated to these wearing all uh, leaf swatch cards, and yes, I got them in ash, maple, and... Ginkgo. See how satisfying that is? And this, I can't get up far enough. This uh, leather look binder was from Amazon. I think it was 18, it was under $20 and I will definitely link it because it looks really nice on the shelf with these cards. And then a cartridge. So, I have an Esterbrook Jr. already. I am madly, madly in love with it. <laughs> it has a fine nib. I bought it previously owned on Mercari. Um, from just a lovely individual, by the way. So let's take a... Because I don't know what nib this is either. So let's... Stub! Okay. Okay. I'm not mad about it. Um, now, the nibs on these juniors do not... Like, I can't put this nib on an Esterbrook SD. This is a number five nib instead of a number six nib. But I do own a fine in gold. I've ordered... There's quail outside of my door window right now. I wish I could flip through, but we have sunshades on. Um, but they're literally walking on the wall outside of my... Okay, sorry. If you've been to Arizona, then you know we have quail everywhere when it warms up, and they're the cutest stinking bird. Okay. I am not mad at this. Please have a converter. Oh, hallelujah. Okay. Has a converter. Wonderful. I'm not mad about the stub. I mean, I would have preferred a fine. Because a pen this small, I kind of like a fine nib. But the diamond cast doesn't seem too prevalent on this one. There's a lot of white. But it's really giving me Earth vibes. I'm not mad about it. Not at all. You have the Esterbrook logo for the finial. This is really similar in size. Let me grab one for you. 
I just organized all my vintage pens into... Ow, I can't get it out of here. Help me! Okay. So, really similar. I mean, I feel like everyone I know has this. So, similar in size, similar, you know, design style, ridging on the clip, etc. Okay. That is gorgeous. This is going to live on my everyday planner and that makes sense because I just saw it. I had bought these pen loops from Lystrom and then I realized how small they were but I had already stuck it on there so I had put one here and one on my Midori five-year journal which if you have not gotten one of those and you're intimidated by journaling that might be a good option. It It's like, only has room for like five lines a day. So it has been fantastic. I'm not intimidated. I don't feel pressured. I just jot some lines down and it's done for the day. Um, it, it's not, it is in here and I'll show you in a second. Okay, let's see. This should fit because I have an Esther Burke Jr. and it fits, okay. Look at that. This just means I always have a pen with my planner, no matter what. So this pen, I'll try and list the, I need a list of things I have to put in the description. I'll try and list like the retail price of just this pen, and then we'll kind of calculate how much we saved, okay? This, uh, planner cover, I believe, is from Amazon. Under 20 bucks, has a pocket, holds a whole plethora of stuff. I tried to do a flip through of my planner once in a video, and the video did very poorly, so apparently y'all did not want to see what was going on with my planner life. Thanks. Jeez. Okay, ink? No, we'll save ink for last. Also on, Mer no, this was not on Mercari. This was on Reddit Pen Swap. Now, by the way, none of these are newly purchased. I am officially on a purchasing freeze, except for that extra fine junior Esterbrook nib that I ordered, but... I'm on a freeze until the pen show in August, because otherwise I will have flown all the way across the country and A, not have any money left, and B, not have any pens that I want left. But I did get this. This is a rickshaw, and I think this is the deluxe pen roll. This is so, <laughs> so soft and fuzzy. When I have heard people say like, oh, I just want to climb inside the rickshaw. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Um, I have plenty of cases. I have hard cases. I have a, uh, like that little leather case you just saw for my vintage pens. I have um, this, which I also oh, got on Mercari. Um, this is a 40 pen book. I already have this in the undyed leather. And while it's not entirely filled up, I like a little room for growth. Um, okay, we'll give you a quick peek. What do I have in here? Haha, <laughs> Esther Brooke. This is still the one with the vintage converter. This is a converted rollerball, but... I've been enjoying the nib so much that I didn't want to waste the ink. Um, Just Turning's Opal Pen. If you remember, this one also had a black cap and a black finial. And I could swap it out in all different things. Right now, for spring, I'm really digging it. And yes, it still has Sailor Neko Yanagi in it. I still love the ink. 
Um, sneak peek for probably next week's video. This is the Asvine V126. This is incredibly comparable in size and other things to a Pilot Custom 823. So now that I've showed you, I guess we'll maybe we'll get into that next week. I pulled out an old fan favorite, my Twisby Eco in a stub nib. Um, the ink in here is Van Diemen's Tiger Qual Prowl. We need to do better with these names. Um, my Esterbrook SD in C glass, which is typically inked up with Celadon cap because it's a match made in heaven. But because I can't buy anything new, I was shopping in my stash and I have Ferris Wheel Press Brilliant Beanstalk in here, which is a, you know, a really pale green with gold shimmer. So that's working for me. Um, and then this is the Opus 88. You saw this, I think in last week's video, I'm still loving it. Um, this is the Opus 88 and the, uh, the color is called minty, which is weird because it's orange, whatever. Um, Anyway, I just really love, like, unrolling this, and then all of my pens are there. It's very fun. I don't know. Okay. This. I, mm, I don't know. Okay, this is a super... I'm going to say super affordable, but I fully realize that sometimes even a $25 pen is not affordable for everyone, and I respect that. I have been there. I know. I get it. This is a... this little Hong Dian pen, they write really well. It's comfortable. It has a nice finish. Um, my friend Lori at Time with Tata and from the Juicy Broad Pen Show bought a bunch of different Hongdians. And so I tried one and loved it. This is just the little, the great wave thing. The experiment of the week is this Hobonichi Techo. I do not love it. I'm, it makes me feel micromanaged. It's too rigid. There's too much... I don't know. I'm, I'm not loving it. And this whole thing... Minus the pen. Um, okay, so maybe not, because I like the cover. Okay, the book inside may get handed down to my son. Sorry, I just banged the table. This beautiful box. Okay. I'm going to temporarily see if I can turn off this ring light. There we go. Just for a minute. Uh, and now everyone is into the Toyo and the other metal boxes about this size. I found this one for $10 at an antique mall. There's some sort of mutual benefit. H and A Association United Benefit Life Insurance Company United Benefit Fire Insurance Company. There's a lot of company, company companies, really? Companion, okay, Companion Companies, Omaha, Nebraska. I bet that was really... So it's a little rusted, it's a little dinged up. I almost locked myself out of it the other day. This fits my little Midori notebook. And I use this as a companion to, ah, see, look. So here's my five-year diary, journal, whatever you want to call it, with the, let me turn the light back on. With the Esterbrook 
Jr. in Pumpkin Spice. I really love this pen. I really love it. It's, it's in my color story. But this... And this little journal. Now this was plain. This was all this color. And... This decor I did with washi tape from Timu. So... I'm not ab above saving a buck. And then in here we have my Caveco Sport in the color Fox. That teeny tiny fine nib. And then, because sometimes your man likes to draw, so I have a pencil here. I'm not going to do this right now because it is a huge fakakta mess, but if you unscrew the back cap, then the cap becomes a pencil sharpener for this lead. Like I said, we're not doing it now. It gets everywhere. But if you are drawing, then you have a pencil and you have some loose, loose graphite, which if you are not a pencil artist, you might not know. But you can rub graphite powder into large areas that you want all black instead of coloring them in with a pencil. Okay, this fits so neatly and compactly. Now, do you see this little latch? I don't have a key. And I bent this latch because it was getting stuck. Okay, so when I tell you it's a perfect fit, like, you know, take me with a grain of salt. Um, but look, that's very handy. $10. So, you know where I'm always trying to save a buck. Um, so, those little Toyo, Trusco toolboxes, I don't know all the names. I actually hadn't bought one because I wasn't sure what the use was. And then I remembered I found this on a little bottom shelf of my cart. And I was like, that's right. So we'll try that. Okay, ink. Let's get to ink. And then I think that's it for today. Um, also, let's see. Let me get some Q-tips. I don't know which method of swatching we're going to use. We have this. Can't get in this box. Oh my goodness. Okay. A couple methods to swatch, of course. We have ideally, possibly, I need one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten glass pens. That's not going to happen, folks. I don't have ten that are clean. And my son spent the better part of his day yesterday helping his old man. Um, move ink around. It's a lot of bending. I don't have the world's greatest back. So he was doing a lot of the bending for me. But... If you're on Instagram, then Dr. Cranky Pens. I don't know how cranky he actually is, but he's always very nice. Um, seems incredibly intelligent and uses words that I don't understand. Okay. But he bought this cabinet, I think from Home Depot, that was... If you put like 6 plus 2 drawer unit on Home Depot, you'll find it. They were also on Target. I have a similar drawer unit that I got on Amazon, and it fit. All of my ink is now neatly in drawers. So I'm feeling super particularly um, organized in my life at the moment. Okay, which one first? Um, that blue... Galen Leather 40 pen book. When I bought that on Mercari from Nikki, Nikki also sent some really cute stickers with it. Um, 
the little Galen leather. Anyone, you know, when you buy from Galen leather, you get the little one of these. It has a leather pen sleeve in it. Typically a postcard, some stickers, a tea bag, a little hand wipe. It varies. Um, so this was in there. Well, minus the pen sleeve, but I would have kept the pen sleeve too. <laughs> um, Nikki sent this cute little note and an ink sample, which I thought was fantastic of her. So we are going to swatch. This is Birmingham Pen Company Keystone Formula in Boiler Steam. And I feel like I just saw this ink and thought, ooh. So someone might have recently used that. Don't want to use up too much of this ink because I don't... Oh, I got it on my hand. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Look at all the little colors. Sorry. That's gorgeous. Now you can see, like, the ink stays on the leaf. And if you are more coordinated than I, which frankly, shouldn't be that hard. Hold on. Do you ever have one of those moments where you realize it's all about to get super messy? Okay. You know what? It works for me. If it's not working for you, sorry. Put a little ink here, and we're just going to do BPC. We know what that is. And this ink, boiler steam. Boop. Okay. Crap, where is this gonna go? You know what? Sometimes, sometimes I tell you, I just threw a jar out. Not me, root in the garbage for a place to put dirty glass dip pens. Okay. That is really, really a lovely ink. It's almost like Monteverde California Teal without the sheen or Edwards Gardens without the shimmer and the sheen. Thank you, Nikki. I appreciate that very, very much. And then um, this little parcel was sent by one of, one of like, I feel like my first pen friends. Um, uh, you may know him on Instagram and YouTube as Kenshen Crafts, but his name is Lau. Lau packages ink samples like extremely thoroughly. I appreciate it very much. Had I remembered that, I would have unwrapped these before we got into it, but um, while I unwrap these, I'll tell you a quick story. My, I have a flat top griddle that yours truly left open to the elements for a while, and it was kind of gross. I wasn't sure if there was rust. Good news, there was no rust. Oh, one tiny piece of rust on that outside where no food would touch. So we used those steel brushes that you hook to a drill. And we, my son and I, resurfaced the entire griddle and then re-seasoned it yesterday. If you have a flat top grill, make sure you keep that thing covered. That was a pain in the butt. We were not uh, loving life at the end of the day, yesterday. Alrighty, now these inks from Lau, look how his little labels. How this started is this. <laughs> I can't find this ink anywhere. It's Mont Blanc's Petit Prince Red Fox ink, and I wanted it so bad. Okay, let, let, hold on. 
correction. I can't find this under a, like $96. And I am not spending $96 on a bottle of ink. So I reached out to Lau in my nicest voice and said, Lau, pretty please. May I please, please have a sample of Mont Blanc Petit Prince Red Fox. If we love this, maybe I will buy it. Okay, let's see. Oh. Jesus, Mary and Moses on a bicycle basket. I love it. Darn it. I was kind of hoping I would hate it and then let's just wipe the edge. Look at Darn it, I'm making a mess. Wow. What a stunning ink. All right, incoming hair dryer, air dryer, heater thing. You ready? Okay, three, two, one. What the what? Darn it. I love it. <clears throat> okay. Well. <laughs> Maybe this is a good hop. <laughs> uh, if anyone is sitting on a bottle of Mont Blanc Red Fox ink and you really don't love it, hit me up. <laughs> hit me up in the comments. <laughs> Petit Prince, Red Fox. Okay, fantastic. Wipe the pen off. Oh, thank you, Lyle. Oh, it's so pretty. Shoot. Okay, before I swatch these, eh, no, I'll swatch the other three first. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up the pace. We're at 31 minutes, and I feel like in 40 minutes, y'all stop watching me prattle on. So we're going to do a Q-tip, and we're going to go quick. This is Pilot. I'm trying to squeeze out the Q-tip. I don't want to waste all the ink. Iro Shizuki Inaho, which I didn't realize it when I asked for the sample. I think maybe is discontinued. Is this true? Folks, I, I, uh, no claims to be a research, um, analyst, but pilot, you know, I hope it's not discontinued because that's gorgeous. I love that a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay. Quit yammering, sir. Oh, it's a shimmer? Okay. This next one is Ferris Wheel Press. Velvet Ballet. And I think I... Uh, <laughs> I love it. Okay, I didn't go way down deep for that Q-tip, so... I don't know if the shimmer will have made it. I feel rushed now. Okay, well, that was a terrible writing sample. Sorry, folks. And then finally, not finally, Shoot. Okay. Dominant Industries Earl Grey Tea. I own the Vanu Earl Grey Tea pen, and I. 
don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty orange. I love orange. Um, maybe it looks obvious. You know, you know these can look different in writing. Okay, I think this is this possessed pen, by the way. Nope. Um, I chipped this pen, and I used a little torch um, to refinish the end, and it seems to work. So, well, okay, it did. Okay. Thank you, Lau, honestly, for your generosity in sending samples. Um, I sent Lau some samples as well. And I think another little goodie or two in the bag. Um, oh, look at that shimmer. Yes. Yes. Darn it. Look at that. That's perfect for fall. Okay. Thank you again, Lau. Genuinely, I appreciate your willingness to share, particularly the Petite Prince, which I know is not cheap and it's hard to come by. All right, we're at 35 minutes, folks. So I am going to speed round through these final five swatches. Which means for you, you're going to see them probably on a time lapse because it is what it is. Okay. Lilac Shimmer. Cobalt blue. I mean, from a pigment perspective, there's cobalt there, but that, I'm not buying that as cobalt per se. It is pretty. Scarlet. Come on. What? Uh, all right, uh, color theorists, am I wrong? Is this scarlet? I don't. I mean, I wouldn't call that scarlet. Um, okay, moving on. Let's not get into the weeds about it. Uh, this is aqua. Okay, so that's dry. Oh. This is aqua. Why does the aqua seem more cobalt than the cobalt does? Okay, well, we'll let it dry. And you all know, ink comes out of a pen different than it does on a swatch. Um, super excited for Evergreen. I mean, it's green. If it doesn't change to another color, it is technically Evergreen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, and then finally, 
I mean, this packaging is really nice, by the way. I will, I have to say that. These are in here like velvet lined. Okay, no, that's not the one in here. Did I lose one? Where are you? Right there. Okay. Overall, like if you're gonna give someone a fountain pen gift and your budget is $100 or under, this feels like this would be a great gift set. You're getting five ink samples, a pen, you got it all, right? And the pen is worth more. I can't look it up because I'm using my phone to record. I don't have a big boy camera because I don't make extra money for that. Okay. Those are pretty straightforward inks. Will I reach for them? No. Probably not. Maybe this, but as an orange, not as a scarlet. Um, okay, let's close this up. That's an excellent, excellent deal. I know that Esterbrook Juniors run in the 175 range. And then if that had Diamond Cast, which if you don't know, Diamond Cast is actually like tiny diamonds, like diamond dust maybe slightly larger than dust particle like little tiny diamond chips and the effect in sunlight is gorgeous um so if that's 175 plus the um, diamond cast plus five ink samples and i was out the door at 89 dollars on that that's a fantastic deal um Really, that's a fantastic deal. Finally, my friend Carmen sent me um, a lovely note and some handmade items that I feel like I'm just not going to put on here. But she sent three inks, and I'm not putting them on here because I think they were a gift to me personally. They're very lovely, and you should be jealous that you can't see them. Okay, she did send me three ink, ink samples. Lennon Toolbar, which is... I know everyone is going bazonkers over this ink. And I kind of see why. This is brown sugar. Ugh, I love that. And then Majestic Mist. I don't, with something with me and Dusty Blues, I love. And then the winner of all winners, Ferris Wheel Press. You really do shimmer well. This is Majestic Maple Syrup. And it is stunning that i love it i absolutely am madly in love with it she was so nice when i told her how much i loved it she's like well i can send you another sample um people in the pen community just have the hearts of gold anyway so i'm going to order a bottle of that um again look at this this is what happens when you make pen friends I have the opportunity to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight new inks from friends. Like when I use these, what I will do is write on the back, like who sent me the, the ink sample. Um, okay, let me say goodbye and then we're done. I'm a hunch down. Uh, we, <laughs> I have a... Herman Miller Aeron chair, but the gas cylinder kind of died. And yeah, don't judge that part. That's the part of the room we didn't hear. <laughs> we did. I haven't cleaned yet. Um, but the gas cylinder, so we had to like clamp this metal thing on, and so it only goes to a particular level. And this camera is not okay. Thank you for watching. Um, these inks were gorgeous. Gold spot pens, mystery dip, great value. Um, shop local, antique malls, thrift stores, see what you can find. Um, save yourself some money, Mercari, Poshmark for previously owned planner covers, etc. Um, if you're heading over to Atlas Stationers, don't forget to use code Desert Inkwell to save you 10% on most items. But there's some limitations. I think like Esterbrook Pilot 
Pelican, maybe. Well, give it a shot. See what happens. Um, if you've already used it, thank you so much. Thank you to my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you subscribed. Um, it brings me joy. And it's free. So I will see you all next Sunday. I keep trying to find the best time to post. If it's Saturday or Sunday. Friday didn't seem to do as well. But okay, folks. I love you. Have a great week. Stay out of trouble.